Hi, this is Scott, and uh, in this video, I'll be talking about the INTP description, and that's according to Myers Briggs personality typing. All right, uh, the first thing that you need to know about INTP is their functions. Uh, they have four functions. Their first function would be introverted thinking, and now uh, this basically means that they uh, take in everything internally and uh, logically and the INTP wants everything to make sense and have sort of an internal framework of how everything works and this will uh, give them a better understanding of the world and their environment and um, this is introverted so this is inward so they might have a hard time expressing this to other people but it is uh, how they see the world primarily. And second is extroverted intuition or NE and that is uh, the INTP will use uh, possibilities and thinking about uh, situations in a different way um, interpreting um, a situation from multiple perspectives to figure out how uh, certain people see things and kind of an objective mindset that helps feed into their introverted thinking and helps them uh, you know comprehend the world a little bit better by uh, um, being objective about it and third is introverted sensing now this is developed a little bit later in the INTP's life uh, but basically it's 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 an appreciation for um, having things in order thinking about the past and uh, reflecting and uh, comparing that so um, for example, uh, they could use use it to think about something that they've done uh, and or known about and see how that compares to uh, the data that they're currently getting through extroverted intuition. So they could use that to filter that out and kind of, you know, um, see how those compare and contrast and then help, help to shape their worldview even more. Uh, and their final uh, function is extroverted feeling. Now this is uh, a we the weakest function of the four, and uh, it's developed a lot later in life. It's it still never becomes uh, really strong because it it uh, kind of contradicts their introverted thinking way of the world. So they kind of INTPs kind of can shut off this extroverted feeling. But basically, what it is is uh, understanding other people's feelings and emotions and kind of empathizing with them. And uh, so. As INFP, INTPs develop, they could, uh, you know, get a better sense of how what they say, uh, how how it would affect other people. Instead of just you know um, approaching something from a logical standpoint, they they might um, you know think of the best way to say it, or uh, or uh, yeah, just just uh, be perhaps more careful with their words and uh, and uh, other people's feelings, and so. That was the overview, and uh, now I'm going to talk about the INTP strengths. Uh, INTPs have a lot of strengths. Uh, one of them is that they are very logical and analytical. They could, um, they could, you know, figure anything out kind of in their head, and uh, very good at figuring out systems and everything like that. And uh, this also makes them great troubleshooters. You know, if something's going wrong, something's not working, they have a really good ability of kind of like. Uh, you know, seeing what the biggest problem is, what the biggest bottleneck is, and, uh, you know, kind of narrowing it down and uh, knowing exactly what needs fixed and ignoring what is working. And so it's just kind of a natural ability to just kind of, you know, um, fix a broken system. And also they can grasp underlying principles very easily. They could, uh, you know, see how something works, say, like, see how... Um, a car works or a motor and all the parts that go in between that and they could grasp these underlying concepts um, pretty easily and uh, you know even apply them to different things like like physics and um, math and um, anything anything sports maybe uh, just just see these universal concepts and just uh, be able to uh, use those uh, and apply those in other parts of their lives and uh, 
that fits in with their introverted thinking. Another one is that they're good natured and have a good sense of humor. Uh, you know, they kind of have a little bit of offbeat uh, sense of humor, but uh, most people can find a way to appreciate that. And uh, yeah, so yeah, kind of witty and kind of maybe a little bit goofy, but you know, that's that's one of their strengths um, and they also have relatively simple needs uh, if they're in relationships or they're with friends um, you know they, they they don't really ask too much of of their friends they're they're not like uh, they don't cause a lot of drama or anything like that and uh, they're they're usually easy to live with you know and not not too demanding so and then um, while every type has their strengths, they also have weaknesses as well. And a couple of the INTP weaknesses is that they can be uh, very defen defensive or impatient with others. Um, you know, if if uh, somebody kind of um, maybe attacks something that uh, INTP feels uh, very uh, connected towards, they might, you know, kind of take a defensive stance towards that, that um, you know, can be a little standoffish and can you know cause some problems and then um it might also be a little bit impatient with uh people that don't understand where they're coming from and maybe uh you know thinks that they aren't as intelligent when maybe maybe they just see the world from a different point of view and um another potential problem is that an e INTP may have trouble taking action on a decision um if they're um, INTPs really like to understand the world and understand everything about it and um, the thing is that this this does take precedent over anything else including taking action on uh, the conclusions that they have come to so um, they almost have this uh, catch-22 where uh, of knowing is enough and applying isn't always necessary which could um, you know frustrate some other people um, if if they're looking to accomplish um, externally what what they have concluded, and they m may also sometimes dismiss emotions as illogical. So if somebody's kind of you know getting worked up about something, and the INTP does not think it makes sense, they could just uh, you know kind of get really really uh, annoyed with that and kind of uh, you know just just uh, not not even pay attention to their emotional reactions which which could uh you know cause some conflicts in a relationship or in a friendship or anything like that and um they can also tend to be overly skeptical and cautious and while these are um these are good traits to have uh to an extent um sometimes they can be too skeptical and kind of you know um the want to challenge somebody on their um, ability to know something in their um, their ability you know just just uh, want to confront somebody I guess to figure out if what they're saying is the truth and that that sometimes can cause uh, problems um, just you know being standoffish as and um, being cautious as well that you know um, Cautious is always a good thing, but sometimes an INTP might want to have too much information before they take action, which could lead to uh, sort of like a paralysis analysis sort of um, situation. And another thing for INTPs under stress, uh, when they're in a stressful situation, they have a tendency to withdraw from the situation, which means they could kind of shut down and you know, not not uh, want to deal with the world or the consequences of um, their actions, which could honestly cause you know it to get a little bit worse, and uh, could cause people to be frustrated with them uh, just being unavailable. And uh, when they're stressed, they may also become very angry and emotional, kind of. Um, have a snapback uh, reaction towards towards people and kind of being very direct and blunt, which could, you know, cause some disharmony in in the relationships and 
yeah, just cause cause a couple problems. And uh, under stress, they might be feeling uh, stress because they could be sit, put in a situation where they feel like they aren't competent, and uh, that that's really an uncomfortable place for an INT to be. INTP to be because uh, if 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 they feel like they're not competent or don't understand what's going on, it really um, messes with who they are as a person and they're, you know, they they drive some esteem from, uh, uh, you know, being able to figure stuff out and and if they're in a position that you know maybe doesn't play to their strengths, it could uh, overwhelm them a little bit and cause them to be stressed out and. Uh, Another problem is when they're stressed, they could cause them to ignore others and live in their own heads, so they could kind of, you know, um, have their own conclusions that they may might not share with other people, and this can cause a lot of uh, misunderstanding between others and lead to uh, attention that might not uh, actually be deserved on either end. So, uh, yeah, these are just a couple things to watch out for uh, an INTP might have. And, uh, yeah, so there's also a couple free reports that I have that you could check out for INTP growth as well as jobs and careers. So, uh, yeah, I got uh, two reports on those, and you could uh, go see those if you go to uh, my site, personalitygrowth.com slash INTP, and uh, looking forward to seeing you there. And... Also, I would really appreciate it if you subscribe to this channel. I'll be having a bunch more posts on Myers-Briggs and personality growth. And also, if you want to put in the comments anything that you'd like to see me talk about a little bit more, I'll be glad to answer that and possibly make another uh, uh, video about that. So, uh, yeah, just, just let me know in the comments below. All right. Thanks.